guys, it's Pearl Gaming. Today we're going to be playing a brand new series. Again, obviously we're just going to be doing loads of new different series, a basic game, walkthroughs of classic games. And well, you can't go wrong with L.A. Noir. Basically it's an old classic detective game set in the 1940s. Your guy is Cole Phelps, who is an old... old so well, I think he's an ex-soldier. And he becomes a detective somehow. I don't know, we're going to sort of guess find about that. I've played this game a few times on the Xbox 360 and Xbox One, it's a classic game but you can never remember much about it until you're 100% into the actual cases because the cases are sometimes they're long winded and they have different outcomes and things like that so obviously it's up to you to solve the case so we're going to get straight into it. Now it says resume because that's working because for a second, well probably about 5-10 minutes Steam wasn't loading this up and I found online there's an error issue but I've sorted it so I've figured it out so just wanted to check the actual game works, it does, it's perfect, I got into the first like second of the cutscene. This bit, here we go, so let's the get straight into this game. Of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home, and have room to breathe, and not be overwhelmed. That's Carl Phelps. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. A city of opportunists. A city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. City of Pioneers. A City of Dreamers. See, so you're getting the vibe now, 1940s Los Angeles. War's going on. A city of under things are going on. Obviously, they mentioned pioneers, movie stars, a lecture. A century city that will become a model for the world. Places are getting built. A city that has no boundaries that will stretch as far as the eye can see. So, let's go. Now this game already looks amazing. Now we are playing this on PC. Obviously we've got the graphics of... In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. I think it was 190 made, times deal. something. You I can't remember what it's like. I'll tell you guys. Okay, corruption. the case we're working on is upon reflection. You never know well, that's this chapter, I should say. Or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGPL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. So as you can already tell, obviously the streets are completely different to how they look in real life now. Well, whoa. Okay, so we need to learn this button, so what's handbrake? Turn left up ahead. Take the next left. Yeah, we're taking the next left, don't worry. So as you can see, we've got a crime scene, and you can drive around. It's like an open world game, where you drive to each case, you drive to each place. Of like investigation, you're going to go and question someone, you actually drive there or get your partner to drive. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out of here. To be. Happy hunting. 
The base of the detectors have got more important things to do. So let's go and make ourselves. Just going through the motions. Good job. Probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it so your way. Ask for we'll search right up to the back wall. Camera. So basically, we're just looking for anything and everything. And we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. So that's obviously you can actually question or ask your partner who you're working with what they think. Now, if you ever feel the control will vibrate and you hear like a, a chime that you would have heard, that means there's something you can investigate. I believe you can turn that off and it makes the game a lot harder and you'll get less cases done. But, you know, it's always good. Job to pick through other people's trash. There's another glass here. Nothing's nothing. No. And he'll tell you it's nothing significant. Just a lot of people drinking down here, that's all we're seeing. What have you got, Phelps? Nope. Anything? It could mean, let's have a look at this one, that there's witnesses to this because people are being down here drinking and maybe being by the crime. Okay, let's pick up the paper. Now these papers, they normally come with a story when you get so far into the game. Here you go, they come with an actual cutscene. So I'll watch this cutscene and see what has happened. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Shelton? Now, if you wonder why the faces are um, really high detail, it's because they use, like, a motion cap on the face, so you just focusing on the detail on the uh, camera so you can see whether people are lying from like eye contact and things like that and they use the FBI to tell them how people normally lie when they look up look down it'll explain you all as we get through the game so I'm not sure what this is but normally the newspapers are related to things that have previously happened or might tell us a bit more about the case that we're involved in and therapy are powerful tools or about to happen I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital a good friend of mine he's so far away it's like he's wandering you went through a lot me. together yes doctor give me his details and I'll make a prognosis I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles Courtney Shelton and your penance or your friend's help is to come and work at one of them in your spare time with what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only... Sleep. Okay, so this guy's a psychiatrist. He might pop up in future investigations. Oh, this guy might do. I don't know, I honestly have never really bothered with these newspapers, but I thought because we were doing a video, maybe we should look into them and see whether they help us with cases or not, I don't know. I always get landed with this crap. Right, let's go and investigate. I think newspapers, as you can see, are more collectible things than anything, but... You know, there's something there we can collect. Okay, so we can see a load of blood on the back wall. Let's have a look. Okay, so as you said, then it explains the control vibration means you found something. The wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Sure did. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Oh, a gun. Or something on the rooftop. How the well, it looks like a gun anyway. It's a revolver, that. Reflection in the window. Yeah, look, it's a revolver. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. I'm Carl Phelps. How can I hurt myself? The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Move towards the drain pipe and climb. Let's go. It's a really like eerie vibe, isn't it? That looks to be our gun. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Let's have a look. Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. And that'll get written in my evidence thing now. So I'll have, like, if I ever come across the gun lock and things like that, I can use that. How many rounds in it? It's a full thing. Two rounds fired. 
And instead of dropping what? it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting. How's the two rounds missing? Oh yeah, there is, isn't there? Because there's two. Yeah, where there's no silver. It's just silver with a black thing in the middle. Yeah, right. Okay, so that's all the evidence we need for that. We've got the serial number, so we should be able to go to a gun store. The perk tries to leave town. Yeah, we I'm with you there. Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. See, Cole's always going for, guy. like, the you actual, know, you know, he wants sure. the end goal of catching There's someone for this. A of blocks from here. So just giving up. Right. Let's get to the gun store then. So I think of a hold white and gone. Let's just see no there's nothing else around there. The soups didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout cold. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? So obviously Carl wants to be a detective. Hmm. I'd rather get through the Could go there. Never been at there before and it's access. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Well we'll have a look. We may as well have a little look. Wake up, Cole. Yeah, no, I'm just having a look, check there's nothing up here. I doubt there ever will be, but no, I didn't seem to be anything. I just thought I may as well try somewhere that I've never tried before. Right, let's get to the car then. Now I think if I hold Y, I can show you the thing. If you hold Y, you, and you can tell him to take us to the gun store. Or we can just press Y and he'll get in and come with us. Because sometimes when you're a detective, you want to just look over your case stuff. You can literally just get him to drive while you have a look at your case files. It's pretty cool. Right, we're gonna put the sounds on for this. Obviously, there's no light. I don't think there was police lights back then, anyway. And if it was, it's more like the one that you put in the middle of the car there, like the big red one that glows more than anything. Right, okay, and again, the GPS is pretty cool because you've got to sort of make your own way. And sometimes you'll come across crimes and things like that, or a crime will come on the radio. It's like a whole open world to investigate and enjoy pretty much. It makes the game a bit more fun. Right. Also, the fact that obviously there's different divisions, so right now we're just a beat, beat officer, beat Bobby, but. We will get into things like vice and murder. Well, I think vice is murder, or is that drugs? I can never remember. But there's different levels and ranks and things like that that we'll go through. Right. We'll park up here. Shooting gallery open 24 hours. Right, just going speak to. Oh, he's got some good guns there, hasn't he? Right, speak to him. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. I doubt it. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. Oh, hello. Right, got a book. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 okay. with pearl grips, Cole. Model... You see it on there? Do do model 27. That's 27, so that definitely is 22. We're in luck, Errol Schroeder. There you go, who is it? Errol? South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Okay, right. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Yeah, bet you are. Right. Okay, let's go to this guy's address. Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Right. Let's go to this guy because obviously he's, he's the main suspect at the moment because he's the owner of the gun so we need to question him, see whether he's in, see whether he's been robbed maybe, maybe the gun's been stolen but then he would report it's stolen and we'll need to call dispatch and that's a cool feature too. 
because obviously back then you couldn't just call on a radio because obviously as you can see we didn't have radios radios weren't invented then for the carrying of just one person they were you know like obviously in the war we used morse code and like massive like box radios another fact from the phelps encyclopedia of thin air we really are full of I still haven't learned what handbrake is. I believe I should have gone up there, so I'll just... That's the bridge. Okay, so we'll do it. Ah, RB's handbrake. Okay, whoa! He ran me then. Sorry about this, guys, but... Uh... Obviously, there's no waypoint. Well, there's a waypoint. But there's no marker of like a where to go on each street. It's just a marker of exactly where we're going. It makes it more fun too. Cause it means you have to explore the areas. Okay, that sign can't get annoying like that. And I wonder whether they actually pull over for us. I'll find that in a second. I'll get behind this lorry. I know we won't fully pull over, but no, it doesn't like we are. Obviously, I'm not expecting zero traffic stop, but I don't know, that car might have got out of the way for me then. I don't know. Now, I know obviously we are going to a suspect's house, but realistically, we'll probably just drive normal speed and follow road laws because, again, at the end of the day, this person might not be a criminal. They might have had the gun sold. There's no 100%, but obviously, we're going to try and get there as an emergency. Right, so here's his apartment. It's 10.48 p.m. Right, let's run across the road. So you don't get hit by a car. Golden handle doors allow you to open and enter. Inspect the mailbox and learn the apartment. But it was the middle one, wasn't it? Schroeder. Apartment mm, 2. Schroeder. Right. Let's go to this guy's house. No, no, no. LAPD. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Come on. Where's your gun? What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Whoa, okay. Okay, so now we're gonna learn how to fight. Now we're gonna learn how to block. Yeah, my partner, she's on the floor having a bit of a rest, as you can see. Quit prancing around and hit me. On the floor he goes. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly. Know. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't just pull our revolvers out earlier. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. Okay, so the revolver should be in here, is where he said. But there's a book, green book. Okay. She's got names and in... the dates. I believe the dates. Lots of names and a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. What are you Officer doing? That's 1247. Get involved in the investigation. Okay, so we got a train. What's a train got to do with anything? Okay, Cole's coming off the train. Okay, he looks to be military, that guy. There in the corner, pushing that trolley. Okay, yeah, this is a military because he's a military sergeant. Get lone people onto buses, so this could have been like a flashback you sort of thing. Fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, sergeant, but excuse me, fuck you. 
You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on huh, report. I love what play. are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Okay then. I believe Cole Phelps was a war hero, wasn't he? So I'm assuming he got in combat or something. We'll find more about that again, probably too. Armed and dangerous. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end. Okay, so we're talking about it, I believe, now. Shots fired at Westlake. Shots fired. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take As you can see, there is a radio in the car. Adam calling but that's because we'll the car's we'll big and heavy. There's a radio on us, so we can't move away from our car. We've got to use a phone. That's what I was on about before. I completely forgot about radios and cars. They could use that, I guess. But if you're in a house, you should use your phone, couldn't you? And there is blue boxes. That I don't know whether they're just police boxes or... I believe they probably are. But they might just be emergency as well. Right. Okay, so it looks like we've got some sort of shootout gang shootout. Maybe robbers. Right, he's going to the boot. What's he getting? Okay, he's got a shotgun. Okay. So, if you're ever in a shootout, you can go to the boot if you can't and retrieve your weapon. Come on, then. Who's next? There's still a guy behind that vehicle. Weapons on the ground now. That's it. Weapons on the ground now. Go, I'll hold it. Minute he pops up. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take the slow. Back up will be here soon. I can see his head. But it's not letting me get a shot off on him. LAPD! Put down LAPD! The, the bank is surrounded! He's I'm surrounded in this bank, do not come out. Unless you want to give yourself up. Take a second for low Phelps. He pops up again. I'm taking him. How the hell? Stay down. Okay, cover. How am I actually getting this close to the guy? No, 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 get back down. Can we get him to surrender? No, nope, maybe not. Okay, he's got a tummy gone. Now dead. That's it. We got them all. I think we got them, Cole. Should I think the bank's here. clear. You should call it in. That's what you should probably do. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Mm, fair enough. Wasn't the best, but 
Did a good job. Didn't freak out. Okay, what's going on? So there's another type flashback, I'm guessing. Yep, here we go. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They okay, so they officers like then. Boot camp, Cole. Yeah, they they're officers, the right. Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Okay, so maybe we're going to find a little bit more about that then. Cole Warrior Outstanding. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that's yeah, so we don't find more about it then. I put him away before he jumped parole. Oh. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Oh, it looks like we're about to have a foot chase and he's driving the ones, that's weird. LAPD. LAPD. Can we withdraw our weapon or No, I can't find a way to withdraw it. Right, okay, so just going over Whoa! Going over obstacles and just run towards it. LAPD, give yourself up, you are surrounded. Hold it right there. Okay, I guess we're going up this ladder. I don't know why I just moved down then. Whoa, he's shooting up just with one hand and all, like he's a gangster. Go, 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 go. He's getting away. He's going up the pipe. Go and chase, give chase. Go, 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 go. I don't know where he's going to go there because if he's going higher up, he's just going to at one point drop, I'm assuming, because these rooftops aren't going to go on forever. I've done my time. Whoa, that was a bit of a jump, wasn't it? There's a ladder here. Did he run and jump over on top, though? It's over, Bowers! Where the hell is he going? Is he Spider Man or something? Running and jumping over buildings. Look at him. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Give it up. Ah! Whoa! Oh, ho, ho. Like the, the sound that made then. Oh. So this is why it taught us to fight earlier on. Because that guy, technically, the minute he realised that there wasn't a gun. Oh, this guy though. Cole Phelps is just brutal, isn't he? What are you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Huh. <laughs> I think if I'm being in the army, probably helped. There you go, another flashback. Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. Okay, so he's an the officer right in the Marine Corps. decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Okay, what's happening? Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Eight, Donahoe, six, Kowalski, six, Hudson, five, Kelso, two, leadership, Donahoe, eight, Franklin, seven, Merrill, six, Kowalski, six, Weiss, five, Hudson, five, Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. Oh. 
I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Oh, I guess we're going to find more about that, unless maybe Kelso's a criminal or a detective now. I mean, it might be interesting, that. If he's a detective, then he's going to be higher up than us, isn't he? And he's going to give us issues now. For every cop, Fire beware. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung ho, the get up and go to make you stand out from your average rank and file patrolman. This gunshots. Is there an ongoing shooting going on? Yeah, there's gun drawn and everything, they're ready for action. LAPD! Okay, so there's just a dead guy. Body, please. Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. You know who he looks like? Alan. Out of two okay, and a half men. That's who he reminds me of. Choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses seven. And I don't mean Cole, I mean the guy who You're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going. Cole spoke to first on the scene. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Hey. I think I see a body. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Okay, so let's investigate them for homicide turn up. Crowded street. I've seen everything. Okay, so let's go for the head. Okay, so where is he actually being shot? It looks like he's been shot in the chest from the amount of blood that's coming from here. But it looks like he's been shot multiple times that we heard multiple shots. What's this? Bank of Arcana. 1412 West Third Street, West Lake. Name C. Galate. Apartment 511018 South Broadway. The article is pearl earrings, the rental price is $52.50. Okay, payment slip. Okay, so it looks like this guy was paying for it. Was it weekly or monthly? Let's have a look at the date. It's 11th of the 16th, 45. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so it looks like he was paying for it. He didn't pay for it on the 12th. Paid out to Bank of Arcadia. The 12th month, but he paid for it on the 2nd, so two months. Well, 12th, 1st, so yeah, for two months he paid for it. Then he didn't pay for it for three months. Eh, weird. Alright, alright, yes. Right. It's a dead person. Let's see, has he got anything in this pocket? Okay, let's go to the arm. Let's have a look at the arm. It's got no watch or anything I can see. Okay, can we go for that pocket? It's got a wallet or anything? No, right. Let's go for this hand. Has it got a watch on this hand? No, so it could be a robbery. Because there's no wallet. But there is that thing. It's a bit weird, right. There's something glowing on the floor here. Oh, are these rounds. Yeah, they look like rounds. Does it tell me what type of round it is? Point thirty two. See if we can speak to this guy. Sir, I'm officer. Mind mind what exactly did you see? You know, I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. You want to okay. take a look around now? The witness can wait, Cole. We've got the perimeter. Oh, what's in the bin? Oh! Is it a browning? Yeah, it is, it's browning. Okay, so we've got a gun store we can check out. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. But are they the rounds that would come out of. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Okay, so we're going to get to see that facial um, recognition type thing that they use. And you'll get to see the lying and the telling the truth and all that. 
and I'll stop into the side track. Okay. But where are them rounds again? I want to have a look at the rounds. Or if they picked them up. Right, his body was here and the rounds were there, weren't they? So it looks like they picked them up. Oh no, they haven't picked them up. Right. So to me, they look a bit more like what would be in that revolver we found previously. A bit too, I think they're a bit too thick to be in that type of browning. A bit weird. Now, I was going to speak to this witness then. Uh, can, I, can I help you, sir? Oh, yeah, hello. Yes, I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> Taking that as a boss. yes. So I've really got to pay attention Mr. now. Mr. Gage. To get pieces of evidence that could help Everett. us. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Okay, let's take a seat and have a chat then. Okay, so the eyewitness can because someone said that she seemed running in here. You think okay. you can tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Press Y to accuse the witness of lying. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. Sometimes it's better I've to do that wrong. because you've got to go hard on this person and say, different. come on, give us some information. You're pearly oh, well, I was correct. Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. I don't think I've ever got that right before. Normally I don't get the first Edgar cases Hunter. right until I become a detective. The jewelry store. He showed me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk nickel plated made in Japan and yells at me to get back to work then what happened we get back here and I hear a loud bang mr. gage clutches at his back I hear another bang and another and another mr. gage falls to his knees it looked very painful which jewelry store Hartfields. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. Okay, he so we've got, pulling the we got trigger. a suspect now. Or a positive idea on the he suspect. He threw the gun in a bin and turned. And and she knew that the gun was thrown in the bin too. Hmm. If you think the witness... Okay, so we doubt the person. Okay, so we're going to press X. Because basically this is basically just telling us. Is that what you want? Tell but sometimes you really just got to grill this person to try and get the smallest detail out of them. Hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Okay, right. Details of shooting. Here, Ms. It's difficult to remember. How many, how many bullets I actually saw? It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. Yeah, this is going to be the truth, isn't it? Because we've done all the others. You okay. Concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly. Close so there you go. As you can see, sometimes that you Five. say that they're telling the truth. 
And sometimes they might remember something or they'll tell you exactly what they remember and it unlocks a memory for them. make a formal statement about what happened, Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Okay, thank you. Right. What have we got? We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. I want to go to the gun store first if I can. I want to see. <laughs> and I'm going to get him to drive if he can. Can you drive to this one? I want to make sure. I want to find out who that gun's. Who, the, who owns the gun first. And I want him to drive and then I'll drive to this person's house. I just believe going to the gun store first will make the most sense. Yes, this guy could be on the run because we've got a positive ID that it definitely was him. But I just want to check who the gun's owned because it's not owned by him. It could be owned by a friend. They could have lent it for a certain reason, so obviously we want to make sure it's his gun or if it's not why he has it. Okay. This is the same gun store right before. I don't believe it is. What do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like okay. he's never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. And he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Okay, that's good. It's all piecing together there. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Now we spoke to that guy. That's another piece of evidence we can use against him. The gun store owner said he went in for a box of cartridge and for it to be cleaned. There's going to be a reason for that. We're going to find out why. Let's go. We've got sirens on because we need to get those clues as we can, although we are literally around the corner. It's key as you can see to this because this guy isn't going to be armed with the gun that he had for the murder weapon. But it's still, you know, he could be armed. You never know. Alright, this is the store. Let's go and speak to him. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Okay. Son of a oh, bitch. God. That's go, him. Go, go. go. Hurry, He's what the hell? I Just standing there and he walks away and I see on the screen that's not left. It says to me, like, Get run back. after him. And I'm like, what? What's going on? So as you can see, there is a loading thing here. Where if you aim for so long, he will fire a warning shot, but you can't do it, I don't think. Oh, I can. So I guess I could shoot him in the leg, but I don't want to kill him, so we won't. Too late, Come on, give yourself up, mate. Right, I want to be ready for this. Give yourself up. There you go, warning shot. And he surrendered. Instead of going into a fight or something that goes wrong, we can just immediately get him and arrest him. You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. There you go, that's our first arrest for murder. He was a bit happy then, wasn't he? His face, his smile. The case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your memory. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never Who's this? discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, Is he a lawyer? Then tell me, boy. Oh, yes, sir. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? 
Oh, You're maybe he's not a liar. To conduct the interview, sir. I am. Why is he going to sir? Who is he? You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. He's obviously a boss, maybe war, chief. Heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yeah, I think I'm ready. Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, okay. you can always get a confession. use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. Yeah, I'd prefer feeling? not to do that. Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This yes, is sir. Chance. Don't fail me. I wonder whether there's a screen, you know, like a screening room, you know, where there's like a black window. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Okay, the argument with Gage. And a girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. It was your gun. I could use the gun or the woman's um, eyewitness. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. I've got your gun. Um, Browning, uh, yeah, we'll, the argument. I think we could have gone with the gun too as well, but we'll you, save that. Counting on the girl. You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating. Oh, damn, didn't realize they did that. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Okay, possible religious motive. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? Uh, nah, okay. Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Let's go down. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher. You and that stup Gage. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging Ooh, you with the first degree him. murder of Everett Gage. First degree murder. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Damn. It sounds like he's going to gas, is what he said. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. Okay, so he's the not Chief of Police. Heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. So you're like a man with your an inspector or something? Justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needed. Okay. Okay, guys, that is where we're going to end this episode, guys. I know this episode is probably, probably about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I don't know yet. I'm about to click off this and click on Smell Gatto and it'll probably say like three hours in you know, my look. But basically this is the end of this episode for this series. I hope you have enjoyed this episode because it's going to be getting a lot more interesting. There'll be a lot more cases and investigations and it'll get a lot more longer and interesting and confusing at some points. It makes it a bit more fun to play. So I hope you do enjoy this video guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, press the notification button down below for instant notifications. I'll see you guys in the next episode.